What's going on pranksters welcome back to another epic gaming setup video and for this build we are going to be concentrating on the Xbox Series S. This machine came out a few weeks ago along with the Xbox Series X and as you guys know I already built a setup for that system. Well now we are going to be doing this little game console some justice by setting up its own gaming station. But before we get to that I'm going to give away one of these to a lucky Instagram follower of mine. As I stated all month long to participate all you had to do was follow me on Instagram and leave a comment on a designated post. And for those of you who did participate I want to say thank you. So now let's get on commentpicker.com and at random let's choose a winner. Congratulations Mallory K. Knudsen, you were chosen as the winner of an Xbox Series S and just like Mallory here you could also end up being a winner of fun things if you follow me on Instagram at real underscore next raker. And my next giveaway on Instagram will be a PlayStation 5 so look out for that designated post coming soon at real underscore next raker. As far as the giveaway for this video it's very simple. If this video gets 50,000 likes before 2020 ends, the winner will get a curved gaming monitor and a brand new PlayStation 5. And we all know that these are really hard to get these days. So you might want to participate in this giveaway. And to do that, all you have to do is like this video and leave a cool comment below telling me why the Xbox Series X is better than the PlayStation 5 or why the PlayStation 5 is better than the Xbox Series X. One last thing guys, please consider subscribing to this channel and becoming a member. All right then, let's get to building this gaming setup. First thing I gotta mention is that while filming this video, I was in the middle of a transition between Halloween and Christmas decorations, and I had just recently cleared up a corner on my main gaming room. Prior to this I had built a gaming station for the PlayStation 4 a few months ago. It looked a little something like this. Yeah that was quite an epic setup. Well let's continue that trend. So for this setup I will be starting with the most complex of items and by far the most time consuming will be unboxing and putting together the desk. Now this disc I did get from flexispot.com which is a website where you can purchase all kinds of electronics and office equipment such as desks. Well this disc arrived in two sections and it was quite obvious that the larger more flat box contained the tabletop and the smaller box which by the way was way heavier contained the rest of the components. I was really excited about this desk guys because it's actually an electronic height adjusting desk. A type of desk that I had yet to work with. My color scheme for this setup would be black and white just like the Xbox Series S. As you guys can see right here the frames and electronic components are all black. You guys already know I like to take out all the parts first and make sure that I have exactly all the pieces that should be in the box because one missing piece can throw off your project. From there I just typically follow the instructions on the assembly manual and I really did like the manual for this desk because it was highly detailed with very good illustrations for every step. Putting together the actual frames for this desk was pretty simple and although hex wrenches were included in this box I had the right power tools to simplify my life and make the process extra fast. Not gonna lie though there were times where mistakes were made but I was able to correct them and build the frame with little complications. Although this is an electric desk, the process to building this was not very different from all the other discs I've built in the past. Once I had the frame ready, I set it aside as it was now time to unbox the white tabletop. And with my trusty blade I did just that. By far this has been the heaviest tabletop I have worked with and that can only be a great thing. It's definitely not a pushover and will be able to withstand plenty of weight. By the way guys the dimensions for this tabletop are 55 inches by 28. The surface of it was quite smooth and very elegant in my opinion. To join both sides together I had to place the tabletop upside down and over it I aligned the frame with the pre-drilled holes already on it. The rest was easy, it was just a matter of fastening both pieces together with screws using my drill. Once done all I had to do was flip over the desk and plug it into the outlet. On the front of the desk there was a control panel that allowed me to have full control of the desk's height. This flexispot desk was better than I expected. I love how it even tells you the height that you reach when you're adjusting it. There is also a function that allows you to favorite a height to easily access it later with the press of a button without having to hold down the down or up arrows. This is exactly what I needed because as much as I like to sit down on my chair while gaming, sometimes I just need to stand up and stretch my legs and there is no way that I want to stop gaming for that. 
so this chair is perfect. This will add so much flexibility to my overall gaming experience. With my FlexiSpot desk being ready, it was now time to tackle the not so tough task of building my gaming chair. This chair came in a more smaller compact box. I'm not used to this but I was eager to open it. Once I opened the flaps, I was met with a bunch of chair components and plenty of pew leather. Let me introduce you guys to one of my new favorite chair brands. Meet the Elec Wish Gaming Chair, best suited for your everyday gamer. Not gonna lie though, prior to getting this chair I had not heard of this brand, so of course I was paying attention to every single detail that this chair had to offer. Once fully unboxed and out of the packaging, I placed all the components on top of my new adjustable desk. Although I'm not the biggest fan of orange, I really liked how the orange trim looked on this chair. When I started putting the chair together, I was really impressed with how the base was folded. All five ends opened up and it kinda looked like a spider. It was pretty cool, definitely not something I had seen before. Even the casters popped in quite easy. Putting together the rest of the chair was a piece of cake. Again, my power tools played a vital role to speeding up the process of building this chair from the ground up. Once I connected the seat with the backrest, which by the way guys was quite different than most other gaming chairs I've unboxed, it was time to lock in everything together with the very flexible armrests. This will adjust to any position that the chair is in. I really love armrests that can do this. This chair came with two pillows, one for headrest and the other one was your traditional lumbar support, or so I thought. You see guys, this pillow actually came with a cable sticking out, which I had no idea what it was, so I did what anybody would do. I plugged it in and all of a sudden the pillow started vibrating, and that's when I knew that this pillow served as a back massager, which is a freaking awesome feature to have on a gaming chair. From here I just went from liking this chair to loving this chair. Another great feature from this Electwish chair was the sliding footrest at the bottom. It never hurts to have one of these, especially when you just want to lean back and relax and actually you can even take naps after a long gaming session. I'll say this right now guys, this extremely padded chair can have a spot on any of my gaming setups. It's just that awesome. And just so you guys know, I do have links for this chair and other products featured in this video in the description below so you can get your own chair or desk or pretty much anything that you see in this video. Moving on guys, let's work on lighting so later it's not so complicated to set up. My choice for lights will be from Day Better and these will literally light up your life or at least your gaming setup. Inside this box are two rolls of LED light strips but I will only be using one roll. Also inside this box you get a traditional remote control with all the colorful buttons, a link between both rolls of lights and a power cord which is always important. The two rolls inside include 16 feet of lights each and one will be just enough for this setup. The pins on the ends of the strips easily plug in so you can connect them with more than just one strip to lengthen your reach. These lights come with 3M adhesive in the back, so not only will I be able to stick them on any surface, but they will also be able to stay put with a strong adhesive. Just like I've done with a couple of my latest setups, the strip of RGB lights will go on the edge of the desk. Although it might be a bit crooked, it won't matter because the light strips and the desk are white. I plugged in the power cord to the outlet and all that was left now was to fire up these lights and so I resorted to the colorful remote that came in the box for that. As you can see there are many buttons on it, each button represents a the color and pretty much the whole rainbow is represented in this remote. Also on it you have four different settings for the lights such as flash, stroke, fade and smooth. We can use the one that best fits our mood or we can just stick to a solid color. Remember that the darker the room gets the better the day better LED lights will get as well. Guess what guys, it was now time to bust out the Xbox Series S and open it. Prior to this video I had not seen any of these machines in person, so of course I was excited to see what the Xbox Series S was all about. Fun fact guys, this Xbox typically goes for 300 bucks, but I bought it for 400 bucks just to make this video for you guys. Just like the Xbox Series X, this Xbox was nicely packaged so I wasn't surprised to see that when I unboxed it. I really love how Microsoft wrapped the actual console as if it was a Christmas present and again they did do that with the Xbox Series X. This by far has been the smallest Xbox I had ever held in my hand. Inside the box we also get cables and hookups for the system as well as the white controller and yes guys it came with batteries so I quickly put those in. Unboxing the Xbox Series S was actually quite satisfying. It reminds me a lot of the Xbox One S. In my opinion physically there's really nothing new about this Xbox except its size. 
It does have all the buttons and ports for connections that all the other systems have. Side by side next to its big brother, you can clearly see a major difference in shape, size and color, but the major differences occur inside, which is why this Xbox is almost half the price of the Xbox Series X. Considering this Xbox is small, I tried to follow the trend and therefore I went with a smaller monitor for this setup. Let me reintroduce you guys to the Ozai 15.6 inch 1080p portable gaming monitor. Although small, this monitor is exactly what every traveling gamer needs and I'll be showing you guys exactly why I went with this one. It was beautifully packaged, which for me always makes a strong statement. Once the box was opened, we are met with some paperwork and offers from Ozai as well as a screen protector. Below that is our gem, perfectly protected by its cover. Under that we have three boxes which contain the cables needed to hook up this monitor to anything that we want. Going back to the monitor, it was well protected inside its cover and this cover acts more than just that. I'll be showing you guys in a bit just exactly what I'm talking about. But first let's talk about the specs on the sides. On one end we have three ports, a mini HDMI port, a USB-C port and a USB-C power supply port. On the opposite end we have the power button, a turning button to navigate the menu and a 3.5mm audio port. And all of these are very essential. And if the cover is bent and folded in the right way just as I'm doing right here, it stops being a cover and becomes a very useful stand for the monitor. No guys, you are not seeing double. I actually had two 15.6 inch portable Ozai monitors and look how awesome they look next to each other. And we're about to test them out. So on the right side, that's where the Xbox Series S will be. It'll be hooked onto that monitor. As far as the left side, I brought out my mini Nintendo. I just love having options when it comes to video games, guys. Although the Ozai monitor does have very good internal speakers, I wanted to improve the sound, so I got me a pair of RGB gaming speakers from NJSJ. These come in black, so it easily blended in with my black and white color scheme. They are powered through USB, so naturally I plugged them into the Xbox. The 3.5 audio jack will be plugged into the monitor that I hooked onto the Xbox, but I'll easily be able to alternate between monitors. Once fully powered up and turned on, the mini speakers deliver some really good sound and its RGB lighting capabilities are the icing on the cake. Not bad for 22 bucks, right guys? And so that wraps up this Xbox Series S gaming setup. It's actually quite interesting how I chose to go with the biggest desk I could find for one of the smallest gaming setups that I have ever put together. Not gonna lie though, it was quite fun building this and of course I'll be having more fun playing on it. Again, I'd love to give Mallory K Nuts and a shout out for being the winner of the Xbox Series S giveaway that I held on Instagram. And just a reminder, I will be giving away a PlayStation 5 on Instagram for my followers at real underscore nextraker and also a PlayStation 5 here on YouTube but only if we get 50,000 likes on this video before the year ends. If we do meet that like goal, I will also throw in a curved monitor. To enter, all you have to do is like this video and leave a cool comment below. That is it. Best of luck pranksters. I'll see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching.